In a world where more and more people are wondering where their food comes from, these workers need only to walk out their front door. We tried to basically cram as many super foods from the Manitoba prairies into it as we could. And uh, now we're just at the point where we're trying to market it and get our cash flow to work and all those small business challenges. Getting her Gorp bar recipe just right took years for this local entrepreneur. In the end, the ingredient list was, well, pronounceable, with five of its ingredients grown on Colleen Dick's family farm in Niverville, Manitoba. From the 11 grams of protein you get from the sprouted brown rice to the two teaspoons of raw hemp seed, the bar was an answer to Colleen's own need for fuel as a busy new mom who was also training for triathlon. I was going to swim practices at Pan Am Pool, driving in super early, and I was hitting McDonald's on my way out, which was super horrible. And so I was like, I need an energy bar. And I started looking around and didn't quite like what I was seeing and thought, I'm gonna do some research and fool around in the kitchen and see what happens. The bars were originally intended for athletes, but they're resonating with families on the run as an alternative to the drive through and a meal replacement. It's all part of working through a grassroots level business plan. You don't know what you're going to be doing when you get to work in the morning necessarily, but you know that you're probably going to learn something new every day, so that's, that's exciting. The small family business is a change for Lisa Duick, who's worked with bigger companies and cooperatives in the past, but she's happy to see employment options like this one a little closer to home. Um, a lot of people end up commuting to the city a lot of times for their work and then they kind of come home to sleep and we live and work in this community and so do a lot of people, well, everybody that works here does. Good reason to be on board with Colleen's passion for rural community life and the desire to spread it around. What better way to show people where their food comes from than to use the food that's grown outside their back door or 20 minutes south of the perimeter, whatever that means for people, and just lessen that divide that's the gate to plate. Colleen's products are an example of where the agricultural industry in the province could be heading in what she calls value-added processing. We grow gold here, like it's amazing. We've got super crops here, they're amazing, they're great for you. We've got the hemp industry super strong, the flax, we've got all these great ingredients that we need to keep the processing here. For Colleen, having her production line so close to her family's fields is an essential part of what goes into each and every one of her bars. And while the great Gorp project is growing and marketing itself, she says it'll never outgrow its need to be right here in Manitoba soil. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Kasher.